welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. This week we are going to make a simple meal that is going to use every single agriculture agriculture appliance except for the ice box. We're going to make a cheeseburger, some cheese fries, and a beer to drink with it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let me get back in first person, get my hot bar back. All right, the first thing we're actually going to need is not cheese, it's not a burger, it's vinegar. What? Vinegar? Why? Well, because we have to make our cheese. So, I have in the brewer here, already, a couple of buckets of water. First, we're going to put a sugar cane in, and fuel goes here, and it's still got plenty to burn off, so. You put the sugar cane in, you get vinegar here. Now, there's, this is a ceramic cup. I'll show you how to make those in just a second. You put it in the middle, you get a cup of vinegar. Now, let me backtrack a little bit. Before you get into agriculture cookery, you need to make some dishes. Uh, start off here with the clay cup. You're going you're gonna to need a bunch of clay. And uh, another thing to watch out for, these are quite often consumed. You don't get the, you don't get a dirty dish back, at least in Magic Farm and, and um, Horizons. That may be different. I do not know. I haven't played with it there yet. But you'll need to make some cups, which is a clay on top of a clay. That will give you 12 cups. You'll need to make some bowls, which are clay boat. That'll give you 20 bowls. And three clay will give you 12 clay plates. And you take those and you just... I don't have any in here right now. You just throw them in a vanilla furnace and fire them, and then they're ready to go. So, where was I? Oh, yes. We need to make our cheese. Now, we will also need to get a cup of milk. So, let me go into cold storage here. Let's get a bucket of milk. You put that milk in your 4x4. You put that cup in your 4x4. And you get a cup of milk. This does not work with the Harvest Craft Fresh Milks, unfortunately. Now this is your counter, and you make it by, you make a brick boat, put a chest in the middle of it, and three planks. The counter has, Shorty, please don't do that, <laughs> the counter has a storage area down here in the front, but up top is where the magic happens. So you take your cup of milk, you put your, one of your usually the main ingredient or the empty plate or whatever, you'll put it on this side. Then you'll add stuff to it here, like so, and you get cheese. And I actually need to make another cheese. Um, and I'm going to have to uh, have some sugar cane delivered. Actually, while I'm at it, I have totally forgotten. I'm going to need to have some potatoes delivered. There we go. I think that's all that I need to uh, call in an emergency delivery on. Okay, there we go. Let's plop that sugar cane in there, and I'm going to put this water here, because we're going to need it for something else later on. And I'm out of cups. So let me just uh, make some more here real quick. And fire them up. Doop, doop. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. And boom. Oops. Actually, it occurs to me I have sliced cheese already. I don't really need to make another, another cheese. But I would like to anyway, so I can show you how you slice your cheese. How do you slice your cheese? You plop it into your 4x4. Four four. There we go. So I have cheese slices already. I need to put this cheese hunk away. Okay. The next thing we need to do is make the bun. Now this is the processor. This is how you're going to grind your wheat into flour. And nope, sorry, Harvest Craft flour is not going to work for this. You take a brick boat, put a furnace in the middle of it, an iron ingot on top, and then planks on either side. You put fuel in the front to make it go. Now some recipes you'll put multiple ingredients in at once and it will combine them into something else. We're not going to worry about that right now. Just throw a wheat in there and get a flour. Then you take 
Let's see. I have a cup of water. I do. All right. Take your cup of water and your flour. It turns into dough. This is the oven, which we are now going to put our bread dough into. And you make it. It's again a brick boat and a furnace, and then planks all along the top. Let's see. Oh, it also has a built-in counter. So, let's take your dough, and let's just put it right there. You put your fuel in this side, you adjust your temperature here. The hotter you get, the faster it cooks, and the faster it burns. You don't want that. So, you've got your sliced bread, or your loaf of bread now. Same with the cheese. Put it in your 4x4, four four, and you get sliced bread. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I've already got a whole bunch of it there. Okay, so that's two main components of the cheeseburger down. Now finally we need to make the cheeseburger itself. So we take some fresh raw beef, plop it into the processor. You get two lumps of ground beef. And I'm just going to do it right here. Put one here, one here. You get a raw hamburger patty. What? You're doing a hamburger in the oven? Yeah, you can do a hamburger in the oven. You can put it on the, the broiler rack. It works just fine. And, you know, the, the fat drips off of it. And it's better for you that way. Okay. We now have a hamburger patty. So, let's take our... Well, I've already got plates. Let's get two slices of bread, one slice of cheese, and let's go here, put the plate here, bread, whoops, bread, bread, and hamburger. Leave it there. Put your cheese on it. There you go. Now we need to make some fries to go with it. So, let's make a plate, or put a plate there. Let's put a potato there. We get diced potatoes. Now, we will need to fry them, but we need oil to fry them in. So, let's look at the fryer real quick while we're thinking about that. Fryer. There we go. It's bricks down either side, iron on top and bottom, and glass in the middle. So, what we need to do, and this is kind of weird how this works, but just humor me. Here's a bucket of water. Here's a cup. Let's get a cup of water. And let's put that cup of water in the processor. And you get, somehow, a cup of cooking oil, which it does not really give me the warm fuzzies about the water quality here. I think I'm going to have to call the city and talk to them, but whatever. So let's just put that cooking oil in there. And now you'll see it fill up on the side here. Take your diced potatoes and throw them into the hot boiling oil. There we go. Now you can just stop here with french fries, but no, nope, no, nope, we're not going to do that. Get that cheese out. Take those french fries, put that hunk of cheese on, and get you some gooey cheese fries. Now we have one more thing to make here. Okay, I've already got water in there. So, we're going to take wheat, put it in the middle. Now what do we have here? Well, what beverage do you drink with cheeseburgers and french fries? A nice, fresh brewed cup of beer. Yum yum. Now, after all that, how does the agriculture food stack up to, say, your Pam's Harvest Craft food? Um, to be honest, it's not that great. Um, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I actually um, <laughs> got this cheeseburger earlier before I went on camera and started doing laps around the kitchen like so to run my hunger down <laughs> and I got about four shanks down ate the cheeseburger and it only restored one shank whereas the Pam's Harvest Craft cheeseburger filled me up so um, again this might be different in Horizons so your mileage may vary uh, but really in Magic Farm the Pam's Harvest Craft food seems to still be the way to go Nom, 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 nom. Mm, that was good. So, next time we will take a look at some other recipes in agriculture, and next time I will hopefully have my Horizons kitchen finished, and we can do it there. 
the Myranium server, sadly, is down this week, so instead of Monday Night Myranium, we might do a build night tomorrow night. Who knows? But until next time, bon appetit, and I will see you then. Bye-bye, folks.